Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Clash Royale video. So, my current favorite deck consists of these guys: a golem, uh, what do you call this thing? Inferno Tower, <laughs> minions, bombers, dragons, skeleton army, a zap, and some archers. So, I have been a little bit successful so far. Not too successful. As you can see, victory, defeat, victory, draw, draw, a number of draws, victory, draw, victory, a number of them. So, the problem that I face with, the, uh, with this deck is that I absolutely hate Sparky. I mean, any deck I use, I absolutely hate Sparky because this feels like one of those cards that you can't do anything about. And I, have, I am currently in Arena 7 right now and I haven't yet unlocked the, what do you call that, the Sparky yet. I, I don't know why. But it's been a while. I have been here for quite some time. I've been in town. I mean, I have been in town. Hall, I mean, what am I saying about town hall? Arena seven and arena six. I've been jumping to and fro between because I've been losing trophies and gaining some. But still, I haven't got this freaking um, Sparky. So that's a sad news. So what we are gonna do right now is that I'm gonna show you some um, replays that I just did with uh, level nine. I think this was level nine guy. So I'm going to show you some replays. Yes, this is a level 9 guy. So I'm going to show you some replays. And then we're going to jump into a live match and see if we can, you know, bag another win. It might so happen that I don't win. Um, that would be a little embarrassing. But still, this is my favorite deck. So I'm, I'm going to use this and let's see what happens. So I dropped my dragon in the beginning of it because I don't have either my golem or my primary defensive building that is the inferno tower so i'm gonna uh kill that what do you call that thing tankers um i keep forgetting the name of these guys so i place an inferno tower to take care of the wizard so i'm letting the elixir build up a little bit so he's gonna poison my tower as well as my inferno tower um um okay i can live with that so i'm wasting elixir right now and he's kind of an elixir disadvantage as I can see right now, which I didn't see, which I couldn't see before because, you know, <laughs> you cannot see his elixir when you're playing, right? So I'm going to drop my golem right there. And just because I wanted to switch them, so I'm going to zap these guys and drop the... Okay, so these guys are pretty much going to take down my golem. Even one hit would be, you know, cool. Just one hit, okay, so uh, I've got a swarm coming up towards me, which I need to take care of. So I'm going to trick these minions and make them go towards that tower so that, you know, this tower can take care of those minions. I, I'm going to make them go to and fro in the arena so that, you know, they don't touch my, shut up phone, so that they don't touch my tower. So, well, nothing can be, okay, so he poisons this tower as well, so I'm no, not sure as to why he's doing that, what's the point of, um, poisoning just a tower. It, it, it just doesn't make too much sense. So I'm going to be dropping a golem real soon. And we've got the 60 seconds left. So we need to take care of these barbarians as soon as we can. So we're going to zap them and throw a uh, dragon. Take care of these land troops. <laughs> that bursting is going to take uh, some of the health of the barbarians. And my... What did he just drop? Okay, he just dropped a wizard. So the dragon and the bomber is going to be a very good duo. Serve as a very good duo. And that does quite a lot of damage to that tower. So I drop another golem this time. And we need to take care of those barbarians. We drop some of our own skeleton army to take care of these barbarians. And also zap the uh, skeleton army. So he's going to drop some minions as I can see. No problem me. I'm just gonna take it. Oh, phone! Shut up, phone! Um, I should have, you know, silent that phone. Yeah, whatever. Again, he's poisoning my tower. I don't know what he has in his mind, but he keeps on poisoning my tower. As I think he feels, he's got this gut feeling that maybe if he poisons my tower enough, then he can he actually get that tower. I, I'm not quite sure as to why. It's truth be told, I don't have no idea why he's doing that. All right. <laughs> Let's not pretend that I have some of my own theories. Okay, so my golem burst taking out some of the mo some of those minions. So both of them are going towards that tower. Good. I think we can take care of this. Okay, we actually did take care of this. No pretending. All right, here we go. Thirty seconds remaining. 
Good lord, we won the match. Wait a minute, let me just silent my phone because it's disturbing me too much. Hey guys, back. I am back. And sorry for that interruption. I don't think there are any, anything of that sort is gonna happen again in this video at least. So we've got a couple of draws too, so let's see what... Let's see some interesting decks. Let's take a look at this deck. He's also got a... You know, Inferno Dragon, so it's gonna be interesting to see. Oh, okay, I forgot to see whether I won this match or not. I think I won this match. Okay, let's see. This is gonna be interesting. Right now, I don't know whether I won this match or not. So what exactly is trying to do? So I'm gonna drop my dragon, and that's gonna take care of that mini P.E.K.K.A. As well as those <coughs> minions. Because the dragon is gonna distract them while the tower takes it down. Okay, just he just got one shot at okay enough for me at least it didn't get any shot on my tower So let's see we're both building up our <coughs> Elixir what's going on with my voice? Uh, so we drop a golem first golem right there Now things get interesting. He's at I'm at an elixir disadvantage as you can see But he's also wasting some elixir for what reason I don't know so he's gonna drop his inferno tower right now And I'm gonna accompany my uh, what you call that? A golem with some skeleton army and a pack of minions, and that should take care of that inferno tower. But he's also got a skeleton army, which does a lot of damage, quite a lot of damage to my golem. But it's still in, it's still got some slither of health, and that should take care of that tower pretty well. So I think. It shouldn't have, you know, waited for my golem to come towards that side of the arena because, you know, it was, I think, it was a little bit stupid on his part. So I'm going to, you know, try to push on this side right now. No particular reason. I just want to play. That's why maybe I'll try to take down that tower. Maybe I won't be able to. It doesn't matter anyway. So I'm going to drop my archers to kill that hogs. Not that it was really necessary, but didn't want to lose the inferno tower right away. So my archers are making... Okay, so he zapped my archers. So I drop a golem. So I'm going to just zap those skeleton army. Fortunately, he drops his minions right there. So those two get taken down. I mean, the minions also get hit by the zap, which is kind of good. So maybe we can do something about this tower too. So the, the mini P.E.K.K.A. Just took down my golem just like that. So both of them are going to make their way towards... Okay, so the mini P.E.K.K.A. is distracted. It doesn't make its way towards the Inferno Tower. Which is good because because of that... Not that it would have mattered anyway because my tower is almost... Why well, almost? is actually at full health right now. So I drop a couple of things. Also the Skeleton Army in case he drops his Inferno. Okay, so he zaps my... Uh, skeleton army and he drops the inferno tower just as I had thought he would do and there goes the second tower I did what I wanted to do so I was successful I mean I was already successful a long time ago when I actually you know took down that tower but still I wanted to take down this tower as well it's that I did so let's jump into a live match now now it might so happen that I lose Thank you, bung my bung. Okay, what was that? Anyway. Okay, so let's jump into a live battle right now and see if we have some luck. Some good luck to you too, Super Rico Osferas. So I'm gonna put down. Oh crap, I hate this deck. I already hate this deck. All right, all right. Things couldn't get any worse. Come on, come on, come on! A few more hits. Yes, yes. You're still in the game. You just need to keep, you know, calm. Not that it's possible with the Sparky on the other end, but let's not panic right now and drop our Golem on this side of the deck. Man, I just hate the Sparky. Now, this is one of those cards which I feel is, you know, what did I do? Why did I drop that guy after it had locked on my tower? 
Take care of this. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. This doesn't look good at all. So my tower is at 1108. Okay, if he goes down to 1108. Okay, so we are doing pretty well as of now. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yes, we are still in the game. We just need to concentrate and stop panicking. Drop that bomb. Drop that bomb. Zap those kids. Okay, okay, I wasted the zap. That's gonna cost me. That's gonna cost me a lot of things. Maybe this match. I don't want. I don't want to lose. Oh crap, oh crap. Put that thing right here. Right here. Okay, so we actually won this thing. Well, not yet, but I think we are gonna win this thing even with the Sparky. That's amazing. That's freaking amazing. Alright?